This is an unprofessional player in my squad and I'm here to teach you how to make an unprofessional player become professional. Now, it depends on how you view your team. It depends on how you have built your team to a certain level, which you can be able to help a player from being somewhat unprofessional or unprofessional to a professional player. Now, let's go to the first thing I will tell you about. Now, you have to go, if you go to your, if you, go, you have to go to your team reports, then go to your dynamics. Now, this, as you can see, every single four of them has professionalism, work with determination, moral, but loyalty is something most of my players do not have. Now, you look at professionalism, the peer pressure within the squad will encourage players to act professionally at all times. Now, you have to build your squad to have this professionalism about them, even older players and younger players like that. Now, for you to get in a player that would, um, even if a player comes from your youth team or you buy a player that is unprofessional or somewhat unprofessional, you have to look at building the, your team first for that player to come into your team. Now, one thing you need to look at is when you get in an unprofessional player, the player has to be very, very calm in his surroundings. Yeah, he has to see that the senior pros, the players, the older players, or players are in the, on the first team are able to give him the freedom to be able to be who, who he wants to be. Now, you have to help him in building the team, just like as I just said. And the next thing you have to do is getting a mentor. Now, that mentor has to be a professional player is needed to be a mentor for that player. Now, when it comes to, let me show you. I don't know whether because obviously you have to look at the position the player is. I think this player that I showed you right now is a player that has, has gone through, uh, like he has been mentored before. Now, if you look at, I have Lissandro Martinez, uh, sorry, not Lissandro Martinez, Arturo Martinez here. And you can see that he's a professional player. Now, I don't have full confidence that, I think maybe he has been mentored before. And obviously, if you know, if you if a player has been mentored before, the player cannot be mentored anymore. So I will click on him. Now he has not been mentored. That means he has been mentored before. But I don't really know whether it's Laturo Martinez that mentored him. I can't really grasp. But that's how you do it. You get in a professional player to, to train, like to mentor a, an unprofessional player. That doesn't really help. Like it doesn't. It helps, but it's not as effective as what I'm about to tell you. Now, what you need to do is you allow that player be in your team for a given time. That is, if he's 16 or 17, maybe the player that you bought in, or 18 or 20. Now, you allow that player to be in your, your team. He's able to learn. He's able to grasp what the club is all about and how hardworking and how hardworking and very int intent that the club is, you understand? Now, the next thing you have to do is you would go to, where after the player stays one year in your team, or maybe like two years in your team, which you are thinking, okay, if he says at the age of 16, and he says to like 18, now what you need to do is loan him to a club. When you loan that player to a club, you have to put in the uh, you have to put like you have to tell the player like loan that player and you have to look at the kind of club that he's going into you have to before con any loan contract that comes in any loan club that wants to loan that player you have to look at the players that are in that squad you should not have players that are having issues in the in the squad and you should do you should not you, you should look at the play the club where the club is on the table whether if it's from germany the Bundesliga or the Bundesliga 2, you go check where that club is, then you know the kind of club that you're giving your player to, you're, you're giving your player on loan to, you understand? Now, if it's a club that is being successful in that season, then you can be able to get that player into that team, you understand? What the loan would make him do is realize that where he is right now is his comfort zone. And most especially if you know that when you leave your comfort zone, it gives you an ounce of reality. So having, and don't send him, if an unprofessional player, don't send him on a loan close in that same country, you know, 
if it's, you're in England, you're managing an English club, they send you to a Spanish club or a French club or a German club, you understand? Or people will say, okay, why, why would that send you to a club whereby you can be very unprofessional if you don't know how to speak the language? Now, that is where, that's where you come in when it comes to the, the loan clubs coming. So you have to look at players in that team. If they are able to speak the same language that player is speaking, like if you see three or four players, that's why sometimes when you need to want when you want to send a player on loan, you have to look at all these things. It's really, really important. And if you see like three or four or five players that know how to speak that same language, then you send that player there. Now, those players will be able to nurture that player. You understand? You will nurture that player in that team. And when you are able to get that player to that team, check upon his loan cell, checking, knowing how he is, what he, what his trait is like, what his personality is like, he will be improving. When he improves to a professional player, then you are able to bring him back from loan, or you are able to wait until when his loan finishes. So it's just as simple as it is. The first thing you need to do is get your environment very good for a, an unprofessional player because an unprofessional player would strive when the environment is good then the same thing goes to having the player stay like two or three more or two or one year in your reserve team if he's a young player or your first team and the next thing is after that first loan after that stay then you send him on a loan make sure you scout the clubs by yourself not your scouts do that yourself then able to send that that player make that player a professional player thank you guys